Are you ready for the interview of your life, Carter? Yep. All right. How's everyone doing? I'm doing pretty good. You wanna know why I'm doing pretty good? Because stage three in Ontario is here, which means I can reopen. So we're very, very close to reopening the store and that just makes me happy. Makes the card players happy. It's gonna be awesome. Up until now, I'd like to thank anyone that stuck with the channel through the pandemic. You know, those that watched the videos, liked the videos, commented, subscribed. Thanks to all of you for making this possible. Keep on doing it. Keep on sharing the videos, because now the content is going to be on a whole nother level now that we reopen again. Before we get into the, today's main conversation, we actually have a box to open, so let's do it. This week's order is rather simple, just Dragon Ball Unison Warriors product. We got some boxes and we got some premium packs. I feel like the Dragon Ball community is going to make a resurgence, given by the fact that the draft boxes I previously had did sell. So this is definitely a good sign. Well, now that we got the uh, box opening out of the way, let's talk about this week's discussion. As I may have alluded to in previous videos, I'm a very busy person. You know, the 80 hour a week life is my life. Um, and reopening the card shop is gonna definitely put an impact on that because it's gonna be more time I have to be here. Or is it? Having an employee is a funny concept because it makes your life easier but it also makes your life more difficult. What do I mean? So I'm fully capable of running this place by myself, no problem. It's easy, it's painless, some of it is very, very tedious and time consuming, but it's all things that I can do relatively easily. But the biggest thing is the time consuming part right now. Having employees in any business has pros and cons. Uh, pros are it frees you up to do other things, you don't have to babysit, you don't necessarily have to be there. Cons being, they cost money, um, they can annoy you. I actually couldn't think of another way to word that. I, it just froze. But yeah, they annoy you. Sometimes. Sometimes you run into issues with theft and other things like that. So, you know, pretty nasty things. Honestly though, I don't care. I really don't care about the pros or the cons. Why am I even considering this in the first place? Because I have things to do on Saturdays. That's why. And other days of the week too. If I can have someone here that can just babysit card players, hold tournaments, and sort some cards and sell some cards and buy some cards in the meantime, that's all I want. That would be fantastic. You see, if we were having this conversation, you know, six months ago or eight months ago, this wouldn't even be a conversation topic. Why? Because my life wasn't nearly as busy as it is, as it is now. Now I don't really have a choice. I need someone here sometimes. There's no way around it. So what am I doing about it? Well, I initially reached out to the group, our little messenger group, just asking for interest and if anyone was interested in interviewing to let me know and we'd set something up. The next step is a Facebook post on the group just saying, hey, you wanna sort cards and run tournaments and do things, let me know. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to work at a card shop, which is why I know that whoever I choose will be more than fully capable of doing it, I hope. In order to determine that, we're having interviews. Uh, here's some footage from that. Question number one, why do you want this job? It's a part-time position. Yep, I'm um, fine with that. I, as you know, I'm not open very many nights and I'm only open nights. Mm -hmm. um, so it's probably going to be one or two nights a week. Mm -hmm. Could be alternating. Um, you, the, the role will largely be holding tournaments and sorting cards, mm -hmm. conducting all the other sales that happen while you're here. So, first question. Why do you want this job? Very, very interesting answer. It could be one night a week. Could be two nights a week, could be no nights a week. Just depends on what needs to be done. Being part of Mario's Gaming World, you have to be flexible and cool, like I am. As you can tell by the shades. So, uh, why do you want this job? What well, interests you? Um, 
cards interest me, the community interests me. I'll be honest, I actually have a very high opinion of yourself. So like working with someone else who I find is intelligent, that's kind of incentivizing to me. As you are aware, um, this is a nighttime shop. This is a 6 p.m. and later type of deal. You will probably need to work some Saturday nights. It's fine. And whatever nights else I depend, mm -hmm. that are dependent on business. No worries. No worries. Good, you good? You can get here and back, no problems. Shouldn't have too many problems, no. We're gonna do some role play. I'm gonna give you a situation, and you're just gonna tell me if you were employed for me and I wasn't here because I stepped out, because that's why you're gonna be here, because I stepped out, how you would handle it. Let's say you have someone being a little salty at a tournament. Okay. Like maybe Ganon loses and Ganon gets all salty, angry. Ganon like. Okay. Or maybe not Ganon, but anyone else. You know, like someone, you know, cursing. Maybe the karate kids are over there. Let's say that, you know, the karate kids are having a thing and having a tournament and some spalt, salty spittoon, like Ganon, or anyone else, just loses and gets notably irate. How would you handle that if I wasn't here? Let's say two people have a disagreement on a ruling and they need an override. There's not necessarily one right answer. There are several right answers. Some are righter than others. How would you handle that situation? Dude sees a card in the case, He's like, I want it, I want to buy it. What would you do? And then I'll probably execute the sale. Execute the sale, big words. Just briefly, what other job experience you have? How efficient are you with running tournaments? What's your comfort level? I ask this because I know that you've run like three, approximately, give or take. I've run a couple more tournaments. I the whole time that Ganon moved to Toronto, I was the one running the tournaments at P Market. Oh. No, I just feel misinformed. My cards used to be alphabetical, and then Carter happened one day, <laughs> and then David happened one day. Everyone just kind of. And were you here when Ganon flipped the table? I was not here for that table flip. Oh man. Card sorting. That's important. That's going to be one of the primary responsibilities of whoever ends up getting this fun little job. Uh, there will probably be card sorting, and you'll also be running tournaments while card sorting. Well, hopefully selling cards while card sorting. Um, for me personally, unless it's a trash card, very bad card, I probably don't want multiples of it. But if it's something good, you know, like uh, Appaloosa or Lightning even some Storm. stuff like Twin Tw Lightning Storm. Cheap stuff like Twin Twister, Ash Blossoms, mm -hmm. you know, random crap like that that lots of people need. I'd probably just grab an infinite amount, really. Oh, yeah. I'm just sure. because of a seller, Everybody people eat that it. stuff up. Yeah, exactly. Good. Good. Maybe if someone comes in and they're like, I have 10 prismatic rare Appaloosas, maybe you should hold back. What makes you the candidate for this job? Why should I pick you over anyone else? Oh, let me see here. What else is relevant? Hmm. So I had three interviews this week and you know they all went fine as well as interviews can go I guess. You just go ask questions, get responses and see who do you really need and who you don't. I've got more next week so it'll continue on. I'm in no rush to hire the employee but you know we gotta get there. So I'm happy that we got this over with. You know I do want to have proper coverage of the shop when I do reopen it. Uh, speaking of reopening it, we're almost there and I, I can't contain my excitement. I'm just super excited. It's, it's finally time. You know, I was just starting this shop and then what do you know, virus hits, no more. It was annoying, but we're good now and I'm really happy. I've also reorganized the shop a little bit since the last time I showed you, so let's just do a quick tour. So same backdrop as normal, uh, we got some more DBS product, got some binders, black boxes, other things. Um, that's most of the recycling that's left, nothing crazy, that's just a box that's going to hold snacks and whatnot, and some shirts, and there's some TV stuff, water bottles, more chairs, you need more chairs. 
someone is coming to pick up these binders, thank God, because they've been a pain in my butt. Over here we got more product. Uh, we actually got Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates. Do you know how hard it is to find these packs nowadays because of this shiny Charizard at a reasonable price? Yeah, it's ridiculous, but I got some. And we're filling up the section a little more, and the bulk is being filled a little more. Nothing crazy. Now look what I did with the tables. You know, we've organized them as nicely as possible. Uh, this way, you know, I doubt it, but if we have eight or less people at any given time, you know, there's space for people. They don't have to feel all together and whatnot. Um, but it's a possibility that people will be bunched up together. It's inevitable. And people will be wearing face masks and sanitizing their hands and not touching each other. So then this is the proper spacing and, you know, we'll just roll with it. If we need to space out more, we'll start to space out more. Whatever. Laptop garbage. I pulled out my buying mat again. Uh, these are piles of cards for people and my stuff and more of my stuff. And I've filled out the Yu-Gi-Oh part of the display case. It's all, look at it. It actually looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh display case now. And then we got some stuff to finish here. Got to sort those magic cards here and get some Pokemon cards there. And there's some stuff on the bottom, nothing crazy. Yu-Gi-Oh cards, good, decent Yu-Gi-Oh cards that are under $5 mostly. And a lot of sleeves that I just need to make tidy, nothing crazy. But yeah, that's the shop. As for the final part of this episode, I like to think this channel is kind of a vlog channel. The vlogging kind of had to take a step back because there's nothing to really vlog during quarantine times. But I did do some exciting things for my birthday week. You know, birthday was on the 14th. Did some nice things all throughout the week. Here's just a snapshot, or more of a snapshot. I guess more of a vlog style of how my week went. I'll open yours first. I usually sit this way just so I have more room. It's crazy. Look at that though. Look at all these fancy cards. Look at all this. You're crazy. Insane, but it's nice. Sent away to get graded, let's go. Yeah, open yours first, go. Roll right now? Yeah, roll right now. All right. I'm gonna sit down for this. Watch out, little Jimmy. Oh, little cat. Little Jimmy. Hey, cat. Look at you. All right. Can we get a collector's? I should have pre-opened them just because it takes a while. All right, first pack magic. Just like this? That's good. That's great. Look at that. Supervised. Chaos Sorcerer. Toon Terror. Typical. We'll zip through those. Zip through those. Oh, might as well, man. We, we want that shiny. We want that, those collectors or the ultras. That yeah. pot of extra. <laughs> Some of these packs are really hard, eh? It's crazy. This is gonna be a good one. You think so? I think so. Oh no. Sabertooth. Damn. Oh, someone thinks that card's good. So. <laughs> Place that of those bad boys? Yeah. Strike for hype. So we got eight blisters. I don't know. We'll see. I think that you're gonna pull a collection of yours and then I'm gonna open my eight and feel sad because you'll keep me. But that's okay. So we'll see. To be determined. Wow, that was that was terrible. Look at that bend. Oops. Hope this ain't a good pack. And for normal night or now, there's one ultra boys. Yeah. There you go. Very nice. Good job. Stick him over there. Yeah, We're on the board. I swear it's these creator packs. Yeah, you think for the so? The ultras, yeah. So I did it yesterday, I opened 11 blisters of Chaos Creators and I pulled 3 altars. I opened 10 uh, Tomb Black Blaster Soldiers and I only got the one ultra. Alright, I'm gonna use scissors for this one. Or do it the old fashioned way. Is that smart? Yeah, that's smart. Just a little. That's what we got. We got a hit. No, Fluffle, our boy Fluffle. Damn. Babe. Fuck the baby. Uh, well, we got one Ultra, and it's one of the better ones too, eh? Yep. But we really want the pot of extra. Up. There we go. Remember, we got three left after this.
part of the cards. Chaos space. Not bad. Yeah, one of the better ones. Cool. Very good. Three packs remaining. <laughs> I just, I'm pretty sure he bent this shit out of all of them. Oh, and number 75. Oh, you're blues, Yeah, we've been blue boozled. Made a mess. Two packs for me. Those are messy. There we are. Think about all the plastic that goes into all the cards. Oh, yeah, that's why they charge so much more for blisters, eh? Yeah. Cost of making them. But what's the ratio is the real question. Supposedly slightly better. So that's what everybody says. Tails right. Valkyrie? Right. Too bad it wasn't a collector's rare. Last pack magic. That's where it's gonna be. Well one ultra and eight blisters ain't bad. No, it's good, good odds. At a booster box, it was like one ultra out of eight packs or whatever. Oh, was it? Something like that. And now the cost is like roughly the same as a blister now, like the booster boxes. It's insane. Yeah. So that's amazing. Let's see. Last pack, Magic. Oh, Mass Hero Acid. Just some acid. Damn, boys. I'm gonna see if the eight BLS packs are better than the eight Chaos Crew packs. I don't know, it's on. I actually did that yesterday. Pack magic. Nice. Want the chair? Oh, uh, sure. I'll sit. Hello, cat. Cat wants in the action. Got bad oh, card, bad card, bad card. Oh, I still have nation knife. Like a dollar. I'll sit right Cat wants to open cards. These three rares in a row, always. And then garbage. Yeah. Probably the worst super in the set. Third pack? Where'd you get yours? Third or fourth pack, remember? Collectors. Supervise, solid soldier. The ammo's good. On a night. At least I'm pulling playable supers. I'd like Chaos Crater or Extravagance. Those were like auto sell. Four bottles yesterday. Ooh, nice, I'll take that. Yeah. Uh, one penny sleeve. We're tied, one, one ultra. <laughs> I'm pretty sure someone in Valve wants page flips. Or a page flip. About to see. That's fine. Ah. Three more packs. these boosters any easier for that. Oh, oh nice oh. Oh. Nice dude. I think we know the next leap for that. Yeah they're up they're up there. Nice. Oh. I need that one too. Oh buddy. Oh boy, I like this. First collector's rare I've personally pulled for myself. What do you have, want for it? <laughs> happy birthday. Oh, look at what it's worth. Nice pull. Damn. I think you're going to start opening the BLS packs now, aren't you? I know, right? That was clutch. That's pretty good. Well, you got me beat. <laughs> oh, another Welcome one. Welcome, Mark. <laughs> Holy shit. 
And one more. Absolute fire in eight packs. Oh my god, that's the best eight oh. packs I've ever seen. Thank you. This is very much unlike me. Today's the day, bud. Today's the day. Only because it's birthday magic. It's birthday yeah. magic. Otherwise, it'd be back to my regular level of poopiness. I think we've exhausted everything, but let's see. Anything? Uh, Fluffle. Fluff Great pulls. We're back in Brighton today. I'm feeling a good day. Grab the Panzerati today at Square Boys. I cannot open. There we go. That looks very, very nice. And I can't wait to just start eating it. I gotta say, the week was pretty amazing. You saw me pull that Collector Rare Gamma. Doesn't get much better. But it actually did. I opened some of the Seven Fates packs I told you guys about. And I ended up pulling a shiny Espeon GX, which is worth well over $100. So I'm on fire this week with opening pass because it's my birthday. Week. Thing. Also got this. Koopa Shell. You know, throw it at people or something. If <laughs> they're annoying. It also makes sounds. This Koopa Shell makes sounds. Isn't that amazing? Awesome, just getting lives. For the record, I did end up selling that Gamma to the guy on the video. Shout out to Chris, great guy. Awesome, it's great to just chill and open packs with. Thanks for helping me out in birthday week. Anyway, next video is gonna be Battle of Legends and if we're lucky and if things don't go horribly, we're gonna be reopening. Thank you guys all for watching. You guys take care, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.